Hi ladies, I'm Phyllis and you're watching followphyllis.com. Today we're going to do a workout for our chest and back. Now a lot of women ask me, why would you want to work your chest? Most people are concerned with their bellies and butts. Well, the truth is your chest or your pectorals are what help to support your bosom, which we all want nice and high. And so by working the chest, we're going to give ourselves a more sculpted, lifted look. Working your back is important because you always want to work opposing muscles so that your body is in nice symmetry. The first exercise we're going to start with is the push-up because you know I love push-ups and you should refer to my video on push-ups to decide whether you want to start doing your push-ups against the wall, modified, or the classic military, which is how I'm going to begin. So now we're going to start doing the push-up and I'm going to do a classic military and I just want to remind you that when you do a push-up you always want to engage your core. That means you want to hold your belly in nice and tight and make sure that your body is in straight alignment as you do the exercise. So we're going to begin and we're going to do 10 to pre-exhaust our muscle. Make sure you're holding those bellies in ladies. Make sure you keep everything nice and tight. That's six, and we're going to do 10. Pre-exhausting our muscle. Two more. Last one. And now we're gonna get some weights, go on our back, and continue working our chest. Now the first exercise we're going to do after the push-up is a dumbbell press for your chest. So if you've never worked with weights before, I would suggest that you use a three or a five pound. We're gonna get down on the floor with our weights in our hands, pull that belly button in so it feels like it's touching the spine. Your arms are going to be in a 90, 90 degree angle and you're gonna press up to the ceiling and down slowly, concentrating on the muscle. You want to feel your chest pushing those weights up and down. And now we're going to begin to count to 15. Make sure you're breathing, ladies. Make sure you feel your chest expanding. Make sure that you're pulling that belly button into that spine. Now that's six. Now remember, your arms are getting a workout here too, but it's mostly for the chest. It's 10. We have three more. And last one. The next exercise we're going to do, stay on the floor, are dumbbell flies. Your knees are bent, your stomach is pulled in, and you're gonna start with the weights up and the palms are facing each other. And what you're gonna do is pull out wide to the floor, opening up your arms, then pushing together in the center. And you really wanna feel that chest pumping. You wanna open up, breathe, and that's five. You're gonna really concentrate on that little area that we call the bra overhang that all us ladies hate, that definitely are an age giveaway. And that's 10. We go to 15, make sure you contract your abs. Make sure your hips are on the neutral position, tucked slightly under, two more. Last one, and you know I always like to do a couple more in case I didn't count correctly. The next exercise we're gonna do is a chest, it's called a chest lat pullover. Now, your lats are the upper part of your back, or better known as all that fat that hangs over my bra. And this is a great exercise to help firm that up. This time I'm only gonna use one weight. I'm gonna go back down. We're gonna hold the weight. 
using two hands, belly contracted, and the movement is you're gonna go over your head and then come back to your lap. I'm gonna do that 15 times. You really wanna stretch. Make sure to hold those abs in, ladies. You want that stomach nice and tight. And even though we're not technically working belly, by contracting it, you are. That's eight. I'm gonna go to 15. Get a nice, good stretch there. Really engage the back and the chest at the same time. We have two more. It's 14. And that's it. Now, ladies, we're gonna do an exercise called Superman's, but I think we should be calling it Superwoman because we are superwomen, aren't we? We're gonna lie on our bellies and we're gonna lift alternating arms and legs to really stretch out the back and you're actually working your glute or your tush and your legs at the same time. So what we're gonna do is lie down, contract your abs and I'm gonna start by lifting my right arm and left leg. And we're gonna go 10 on each side. You wanna make sure to breathe And you want to make sure to contract your abs. And you're contracting your glutes at the same time. I hate the word glutes. I like tush. That's six. Make sure to breathe, ladies. Make sure to hold everything in nice and tight. That's eight. Two more. Last one. Now we're gonna do an exercise called single arm rows, and this is for the back. And I always like to have a chair to hold on to. So we're gonna take a weight, and the arm that you're, you're working, I'm using my right arm, my right leg is gonna go back. You're gonna contract your abs, make sure your posture is good, and you're gonna take the weight and pull up and squeeze your back. And we're gonna do that 15 times on each side. Make sure that you're contracting those abs and make sure that you are really squeezing the back each time you go up. It's eight. We're gonna go to a count of 15. You wanna squeeze that back. Three more to go. Two and one. Now we're gonna do the left side because we wanna be equal. I'm gonna hold the chair with my right hand. I'm gonna throw my left leg back and I'm gonna do the same movement. Coming forward in a slight diagonal and squeezing your lats, which are your, that's the muscle of your upper back, each time you lift. That's seven. 10, contract your abs, lady. Make sure everything is pulled in nice and tight. We have three more to go. And two, and one. Ladies, that was a nice, simple chest and back workout. Now you should run through this video two or three times and I would work my chest and back two or three times during the week. Coupled with a good nutritional program and working the rest of your body, you definitely will see a change. But I cannot, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to hit every body part that you have because everything works together. So make sure to work your chest and back, make those boobies nice and high, See you soon. Want me to do it again? Eh? Just one loud clap. Okay. I have little hands. Come it, on. Are we are. Is it is it done yet? Are we there yet? Is it time for, for fries yet? What of it?